Hello, my name is Steve Bowler and welcome to Juniper IP version 6 lab number 3. In this lab we're going to take a look at OSPF version 3 or OSPF v3 basics. So in this lab we have two routers, router 1 and router 2. Both of those in OSPF v3 area 0. In this video what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to configure OSPF v3 and then do some verification with show commands and we'll also enable trace options. So the first thing I want to do is just explain to you that for this lab we're going to build it from the ground up because there's not a whole lot of configuration or initial configuration that has to be applied so we're going to do that step by step. We're going to be using logical systems if you're not familiar with logical systems I would suggest watching my videos on logical systems. What they allow you to do is within one physical Juniper router is break it up into multiple virtual routers. That's what we are going to do with router 1 and router 2. And then we're going to connect these logical systems together with logical tunnels. All of our logical tunnels are equal to lt-120.xx. For instance, on R1, the connection to router 2, we have it shown as lt.12, but it's actually lt-120.12. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a perform a simple OSPF v3 configuration. We're going to configure router 1 and router 2 and their loopback interfaces along with their directly connected interface into a single area OSPF v3 implementation. We're going to put them all into area 0. So let's go ahead and start with the initial configuration. That's going to be done on router 1. We'll do the command set logical systems R1 interfaces lt-120.12 and we're going to be using encapsulation our frame relay encapsulation for this lab. We're also going to put in under our interface the DELC which is going to be 12 and the peer unit which is our connection to router 2 which is 21. So that's it for router 1 router 2. Let's just do this. We'll start from scratch. Set logical systems R2 interfaces